In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the lofted surface. It works pretty similar to the feature lob. Let's insert some reference planes as we learned in the previous tutorial. Let's make two more with the front plane. Let's start with the front plane, making a sketch. Select the center point slot. Um, set. Let's go to the second plane. Insert a sketch. What we can do, we can make a trick. Convert the entities. Then rotate it. So we can select. In the center of rotation, can select the origin 90 degrees. So we will uncheck the keep relation. So you are done. Except go to the third plane sketch, select the first sketch, and convert entities. So we have these three sketches in three different planes. Go to the lofted. We have sketch 3 selected, select sketch 2 and then sketch 1. So when you are selecting, you are also need to care about the points you are selecting. So it's not just select because selecting a point can decide the shape of your lock. So now we have the uniform loft. If you change the point place, that can create some twisting to your part. So that's why you need to understand or know where is the loft. So sometimes it became not working. So you have to choose. And now we are on the uniform lofting just the same path points okay so now you created your loft 